Now you can begin living successfully. Bob Keaton hosts a conversation with pioneers in the areas of health and personal growth. Stay tuned for new options that can make work, relationships, and money flow into a successful life. Here's your host, Bob Keaton. Welcome to Living Successfully. I have the honor of talking with a man that you've heard of. And if you haven't, you've seen some of the photographs that have been published. And I think what we're really talking about is the confluence of science and spirituality. Masaru Emoto is my guest, and he has done a marvelous work that's available absolutely anywhere. It's called Messages from Water. And it is just an honor to be here with you. Which came first, Dr. Emoto? The spiritual knowledge or the scientific knowledge? So, this is the Well, let me think. I don't think either one is what I first realized. Because, um, in fact, I'm not either. Uh, either of those both <laughs> scientific or um, spiritual neither one neither one well I see graduated from international relations department of humanities at Yokohama University mm -hmm. and then establishing this company IHM corporation what was the work about well, yes, I understand that, Bob, but um, initially, well, what I actually took in college was more literature-based, and also um, I studied um, subjects such as U.S. politics. So when I created this company, IHM, in Japan, initially it was um, a medical equipment importing company, so it had nothing really to do with what I currently do. Can you talk about what you know of our real relationship with water? So... Mm -hmm. Before I reply to that, Bob, um, I still haven't finished um, answering to your first question, so let me go back to that. Okay, very good. Please. Um, um, the way I was taking pictures or water crystal pictures, um, probably not just myself, but some other person could have thought about um, taking crystal pictures from water. Mm -hmm. However, um, when I look at um, how I evolved or um, utilized the result that I've got from the crystal pictures that I've taken or um, applying inspiration to the realization of being able to take these pictures. And currently, you know, at IHM, we're currently expanding and researching on um, more um, crystal pictures and so forth relating to that. So when I see the current result and what I am currently doing as a research, I feel like there's some connection to my past life. So, oh... Uh so what I can say is that um, I feel like it's related to my past life because if I haven't done this in my past life and experienced it already and the philosophy that I gained from it currently because I haven't been really studying in this area or anything but I know a lot of knowledge in relating to this area or subject or topic so, um, you know, in the spiritual um, group or uh, field, some people might say that, you know, it, the knowledge may have um, come from another dimension, but I don't really want to go into that right now. So for me, it's pretty comfortable to say that I've experienced this in my past life sometime. Oh, I would love to go into that. <laughs> but it would keep us from knowing a lot more about what he's discovered about water. So what you're saying is you are aware of coming into this life with prior knowledge. Just to um, give an example, I believe that we are all water. So to think ourselves, it's important to think ourselves as water. Uh, 
So um, this is the foundation or the base of my philosophy. Uh, and also important things such as where did we come from and why are we here and what our purpose and where do we go from here or where do we go. So those are the things that are um, important to me. And if we are water, and if your work absolutely proves that our emotions affect water directly, that says an enormous amount about our physical health and our well-being, doesn't it? So, yes. Yes, Bob. So, if you, I believe that you know, water is the reflection of our soul. So, to understand this um, important substance, water, and to realize that the water in us is one thing, is to understand that your, um, it's to understand your heart or your emotion or yourself, and that gets translated into water as well. I believe that the water in our bodies, for example, like blood is mostly water. And so is like other bodily fluids. They all consist of water. And I believe that all the irregularities of physical symptoms or physical ailments begin when these liquid within ourself, which is water, um, there's an effect to that. So I, there's a saying that il- all illnesses come from the mind. So from how we think, you know, it affects our um, bodily, bodily fluid or liquid, and which is water, and we become sick or create diseases within ourselves. So I would like to um, actually get into a little bit about, you know how people say you must think positively or have positive thoughts yes. because that creates better life sure. and so forth. So when I think about it um, in a more deeper sense, I kind of wonder, like, what is negative or positive thought? So I would like to get into that a little bit, if I can. I'd love that. And I have one preliminary question. In this notion about water being a reflection of our soul, that would also be true on a planetary level, wouldn't it? The water on Earth would reflect the spirit that we hold as a people. So this day. Yes, Bob, that's exactly right. And to really comprehensively answer or explain that, um, I will need to touch on and explain about how God or the universe would come into play. You're listening to Dr. Masaru Emoto here on Living Successfully on the web at livingsuccessfully.com. Please go right ahead. Um, if I can talk a little bit about my past um, and my spiritual development or state. I wasn't brought up in a household that really believed in spiritual things. So for about 45 years of my life, I never really did anything spiritual. Mm. However, then um, I started studying about um, water and, and knowing more about water and it's how to apply frequencies or vibration to the water, I was able to treat a lot of people. So after doing that uh, initially with water and getting to know more about how water can affect us um, and thinking, um, having this idea of taking uh, water crystal photographs from frozen water and being able to be successful in that field and furthering my research, I, that's when I really realized God's existence and um, really feeling that within myself. I must say that um, I'm probably more spiritual or religious or you know, understanding God more so than someone who might be you know, uh, in a religious-based um, um, organization or you know, that sort of thing. So that's how I feel. Maybe spiritual without the doctrine, spiritual without the dogma. I want to pursue this. We need to take a break. I also want you listening to know that there are some fabulous pictures. They are posted on the Internet. You can get to those right now. And one place to look is masaruemoto.net, and that's M-A-S-A-R-U dash E-M-O-T-O 
www.thepeacekeepers.net. More of this conversation coming up in just a moment, and there will be a link to his site from ours at livingsuccessfully.com. And Kamika, thank you so much for doing translation. Oh, no problem. We'll be right back. Stay tuned for insights and conversations with people who can give you new options for having your work, money, and personal relationships flow into a successful lifestyle. This is Living Successfully with Bob Keaton.